Hi students, in this video we are going to learn about Gilbert Multiplier Circuit. So Gilbert Multiplier Circuit is the modification of the emitter coupled cell. In emitter coupled differential pair cell having some disadvantages to overcome this problem we are using Gilbert Multiplier Cell Circuit. Okay, so this allows 4 quadrant multiplication. 4 quadrant multiplication means we are using 2 input means that 2 inputs swing both in um, positive and negative direction that is 4 quadrant multiplication. Therefore it forms the basis of most of the integrator circuit balanced <coughs> multipliers. Also the output current is an accurate multiplication of the differential base currents of both inputs. Okay, As a mixer its balanced operation cancel out many unwanted mixing product resulting cleaner output. Okay, this is the advantages of Gilbert multiplier cell. What is the Gilbert multiplier cell? So, here two cross coupled emitter coupled pairs in series connection with an emitter coupled pair forms the structure of Gilbert multiplier cell. Can you understand? Two cross coupled emitter coupled pair. We know emitter coupled. What is emitter coupled pair? So if you are considering these two transistors Q3 and Q4. This emitters are coupled together. So this is the emitter coupled pair. Okay. So here I said two emitter coupled pair we are going to use to. Two emitter coupled. So, two emitter coupled means this is one emitter coupled. This is another emitter coupled. These two emitter coupled that is cross coupled. Okay. The two emitter couples are cross coupled. So, if you are seeing this is one emitter coupled. This is another emitter coupled. These two are cross coupled. Cross coupled means so here this is the cross connection. So, this is the right hand. This is the left hand. I am holding with another one people means this left right hand hold the left hand of the another people. Okay. This left hand hold the right hand of the another people. Okay. So, this is the cross coupled connection. So, here that means this Q3 transistor this output terminal is connected to this q5 okay this output is connected to this q4 so this is cross coupled so this is two first line is over that is two cross coupled emitter coupled pair two cross coupled cross coupled emitter coupled pair that is series connection with another coupled pair emitter coupled this is another emitter coupled pair so that is the different Color difference between these two. This is the emitter coupled with the cross coupled pair. This is another emitter coupled. This is series connection with this cross coupled pair. Okay. So now let us give the names for this transistors and the collector currents. So here this is Q1, Q2 transistor, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6. The flow, uh, flow of the current in the Q3 transistor is IC3, Q4 is IC4, Q5 is IC5, Q6 is IC6. Then Q1 is IC1, Q2 is IC2. So this is the emitter bias current IEE. So here we are giving the differential input voltage that is V1. So V1 is between base of this uh, transistor, base of this transistor. So these two base are coupled together. So this is negative. Okay. So this coupled base terminal is connected to the negative. So, this base and this base is coupled together that is given to the positive input. Next, this is the positive input. Here, this is the negative input that is V1 and V2. So, this is the load current IL1. This is the load current IL2. So, this is the simplest circuit diagram. If you see, this is difficult. This is not difficult one. This is very, very simple circuit diagram. Okay. Next, we are going to calculate the collector currents of IC3 value. IC4 value, IC5, IC6, then IC1, IC2. All the current we are going to calculate all the 6 currents value. Okay. First we are going to calculate Q3 and Q2 transistors I, character current. Okay. 
So the collector current value is IC3 is equal to IC1 divided by 1 plus E power V1 divided by Vt. This is the expression for that is we know the general expression of collector current that is IC is equal to IS into E power VBE divided by Vt minus 1. So here <coughs> we are substituting some values and we will get the collector current is equal to IE divided by that is IE divided by 1 plus E power VB V1 divided by Vt minus 1 okay sorry 1 plus v e e power v1 divided by vt so this is the value this is ie divided by so ic3 we are going to write the collector current for q3 transistor that is ic3 is equal to what is the emitter current of the q3 transistor the q3 transistor emitter current is ic1 so emitter and collector terminal of the first transistor is connected so i3 Q3 transistor emitter current is IC1. So, emitter current IC1 divided by 1 plus E power minus V1. So, here I am writing that is plus V1. So, here V1 means that is VBE1 minus VBE2. Okay. Minus V1 means that is VBE2 minus VBE1. That's all. Okay. So, here minus V1 divided by minus V2 are you have to remember by simple method that is if the terminal is connected base terminal Q3 transistor base terminal is connected to plus means we have to give V1 is minus. Okay. Here the Q4 transistor base is connected to the negative of the input voltage. So we have to give positive. If the base terminal is connected to plus means we have to give minus. If the base terminal is connected to the negative means we have to give the positive. So here for Q3 transistor, it is connected to the positive voltage. So, we have to give minus here. That is 1 plus E power minus V1 divided by Vt. IC4 is equal to IC1 divided by 1 plus E power V1 divided by Vt. Because IC4 base is connected to the positive. Okay. IC4 emitter current also IC1. Same we are we have to write IC5. What is IC5? IC5 is equal to the emitter current is IC2. IC2 divided by... 1 plus E power V1. V1 means here the base is connected to negative. So, we have to give positive. V1 divided by Vt. Okay. Then next we have to go into write v Q6. What is Q6? IC2 divided by 1 plus E power minus V1 divided by Vt. Minus means this Q6 is connected to the positive of the input voltage. Next we are going to write IC1. IC1 is equal to what is the emitter current of this Q1 transistor that is IEE. So IEE divided by 1 plus E power minus V2 divided by Vt. The input voltage is V2. This base is connected to plus. So we have to put minus. Next we are going to write IC2. IC2 is equal to IEE divided by 1 plus e power v2 divided by vt because this base is connected to the negative of the terminal. Okay. We have to write all the six equations. Okay. This orange color indicate that is cross coupled emitter coupled pair. This is the series emitter coupled pair. The green color. Okay. The equation. Okay. Next we are going to write. I see again IC3, IC4, IC5, IC6 value because here already in IC3 there is IC1 value, IC5 and IC6 there is IC2 value. We are going to substitute this IC1, IC2 equations for these two collector currents. Okay. So here IC1 value in IC3 and IC4. So I, uh, if you are substituting IC1 value. The IC3 current will be like this. IC4 is this value. Okay. Next we are going to substitute IC2 value in IC5 and IC6. We will get IC5 value this one. IC6 value this one. Okay. Next we are uh, going to write the differential output current I. Okay. So what is the differential output current from the circuit? Differential current is. That is the difference of the two output current that is IL1 minus IL2. Okay, IL1 minus IL2. What is IL1? Here we are applying node law. 
IL1 is equal to IC3 plus IC1, right? What is IL2? IL2 here we are applying the node law means IL2 is equal to IC4 plus IC6, okay? So, write this value. Del I is equal to IC3 plus IC5 is equal to mass or minus IC4 plus IC6. So, next we are going to multiply by minus, okay? So, del I value will be like this. Next, we are going to substitute all IC3, IC5 minus IC4, IC6 value. All the values already we calculate. That is equation number 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. All the values we are going to substitute in this del I value. So, here this orange color. Compare this orange color. Here this value and this value is equal so, from these two equations, we are going to take common value that is 1 plus e power minus v1 by vt. Okay, that is ie also common. ie divided by 1 plus e power minus v1 divided by vt into then we will get 1 divided by this value minus 1 divided by this value. Okay, next here the symbol is plus. So, we are going to put plus here ie divided by here this value and this value is common these two terminal that is we are going to take uh, out that is 1 plus e power v1 by vt that is ie divided by this value into 1 divided by this value minus 1 divided by this value now for simplification we are going to take minus common from this term okay so if you are taking minus common out then what is the value of this terminal that is 1 divided, this is the positive term. So, first we are going to write the positive value. That is 1 divided by this value minus 1 divided by this value. So, we are taking minus is common. So, this plus will be minus. So, this value minus this value. But, this values are interchanged. Correct? So, that is the value. So, from this, this is th this term and this term is the same term that is common term. So, we are taking common. So, this is the common term. Then we will get IE divided by this value minus IE divided by this value. From this two we are taking IE is common. So, del I is equal to IE into these values. Okay. So, here the equation is 1 divided by 1 plus E power theta minus 1 divided by 1 plus E power minus theta. Sorry. 1 plus e power minus theta minus 1 divided by e power theta means this is plus okay the theta means that is equal to turn h theta by 2 this is the formula. So here theta value is v1 by vt. So see here this is 1 divided by 1 plus e power minus theta minus 1 divided by 1 plus e power theta. That means we have to substitute tan h the theta value is v1 divided by 2 vt. Then same this value, okay. Turn h is into v2 divided by 2 vt. So, the del i value is equal to ie into turn h v1 divided by 2 vt into turn h v2 divided by 2 vt. So, here we can say the output signal, the output current is proportional to the product of two input voltage, right. So, this is the analog multiplier. So, this is the output current of the Gilbert cell multiplier circuit. Okay. Here, when V1 and V2 values are small, the Gilbert multiplier cell can be used as a four quadrant multiplier. Okay. That is the help of I to V converter. So, this is the Gilbert cell multiplier circuit. I hope you can understand this concept. For more videos, Subscribe to the channel. Thank you.